here. And the remains of the impala, there's still a fair amount of meat there. Can you see through there, Dave? Yeah. It's a bit tricky. Back it up short. Sure. Let me just try move back a little bit. Is that okay? <laughs> Again, playing, being quite playful with with the impala. So, Larry, I hope that answers your question. Um, what I what I just described. It's um again yeah we've we've always got to be careful. Wow look at that. And again this could potentially be a way for this young leopard to learn where to grab an impala, how to wrestle with it when he is making a kill. But look at the size of that that, that impala ram now for Karula to be able to to hunt and bring down that impala it just shows you how powerful leopards are. And you can see those sharp claws hooking on to the skin of the impala. Look at that. These claws are incredibly sharp. You'll see while he's trying to bite, he grabs with his claws. There we go. Those retractable claws, so they contract the muscles in their paws, and it causes the claws to come out. That was almost a rhyme, everybody. Did you see, did you see that? I surprise myself sometimes. It's a lovely cool breeze at the moment. You can see the <clears throat> branches and the leaves blowing in the wind. Oh, look at all the flies still around that carcass. Uh, you know what, I don't think these leopards were, were that hungry to be honest because this kill has been there for quite some time. Um, and yeah, I think, what, what was it, it was Saturday? Uh, was it s Saturday? Saturday, Karula did have a kill for them. Even Sunday, um, but Saturday they did. They were finishing off the the remains of a of an impala, and then Sunday she killed another another impala. So probably not that hungry, and maybe that's why this kill has lasted a bit longer than usual. And it does seem like there's still a lot of meat there. That looks, that actually looks like a nice fresh piece that he's got. See, so as they tear open certain areas, they'll get some fr fresh meat, meat that hasn't been exposed yet. Now, I can't seem to see where Karula or young Shungile are. Uh, I'm sure they're in this area, probably laying in the shade somewhere. 